ہمارے For further discussion on this topic, we have with us Lieutenant General Retired Dame Khalid Lodi, uh, former Defense Minister Pakistan and Ambassador Nagmana Alamgi Hashmi, um, Vice Chairman Council on Global Policy. So my first question to you is that what are those interests of Pakistan which are against the interests of America and Afghanistan and Taliban government? Uh, it is uh, not only Taliban government but probably uh, Afghanistan itself. and i can uh, uh, list those uh, interest where uh, we do not see uh, eye to eye with each other the first is of course the influence of china in afghanistan uh, for us it uh, suits us that uh, china must invest in afghanistan china must uh, uh, take part in the progress of uh, afghanistan in the infrastructure of afghanistan why one that china is our very close uh, friend and secondly it will help uh, our cpac to take off because uh, due to this infrastructure we can get connected with the uh, central asian countries uh, even with china uh, with the afghanistan and there will can be a lot of trade along uh, the cpac route so this is one interest second is that uh, uh, americans uh, they want uh, some role some indian role uh, in afghanistan they have given them Uh, this role earlier also and india taking advantage of that actually created a lot of problems for pakistan by giving space to uh, raw which is their intelligence set, uh, setup and then there was a nexus between uh, raw and nds the uh, afghan intelligence and uh, they together uh, with the help of tehreek e taliban pakistan and other uh, outfits like uh, balochistan liberation uh, army and front etc they they created a lot of problems for us so that way these are the two main things which uh, which are conflicting uh, as far as uh, pakistan and uh, american are concerned and there's a third thing uh, which is that we do not interfere we do not like to interfere ourselves and we do not want anyone else also to interfere in the internal uh, p- politics of afghanistan uh, what sort of government they bring as long as it is uh, it has the support of the people of afghanistan uh, so we do not emphasize that they must have a democratic government we do not emphasize that they must have women in their uh, you know cabinet uh, although we do want that they should have an inclusive government so i think the, there are certain thing which are half uh, uh, acceptable to both uh, american and pakistan there are some conflicting interest and there are only few overlapping interests Coming toward you, ma'am, uh, my first question to you is that what are those interests of Pakistan that are very different from the interests of America and Afghanistan? Well, uh, I tend to agree with Mr. Blinken a little bit. Yes, some of our interests are different. Different in the sense that Pakistan would like Afghanistan to be peaceful, stable and uh, secure so that we can um, extend our connectivity to the uh, Central Asian states and our uh, concept of uh, socio-economic development which has been uh, a hostage of the instability in Afghanistan uh, can actually take off. But unfortunately, uh, I am not very sure whether the USA would also like to see Afghanistan peaceful. Um, our interests also uh, sort of uh, diverge in a way that uh, uh, we uh, would uh, want the neighboring states to uh, sort of have cooperation uh, in ensuring that Afghanistan uh, is uh, is peaceful and that Afghanistan uh, can see socio-economic development uh, so that there is peace in the, in the neighborhood as well. 
we would like to see that Afghanistan uh, um, does not once again become uh, the haven for terrorist groups. And that is where our interests maybe converge with the, uh, with the USA also. But uh, for USA, terrorism means that uh, the USA soil and uh, the European uh, soil remains safe. Uh, and that there is no terrorism perpetrated from Afghanistan against the Europeans or the Americans. But we would want that terrorism does not emanate from Afghanistan against anyone, including the neighbors, which means neither against Pakistan nor against China or Russia or Iran or the Central Asian states. So in that way, maybe what our expectations in Afghanistan are a little different from the U.S. expectations. Uh, yes, both of us would want that terrorism does not uh, take roots in Afghanistan, but they have a different reason for it, and we have a different reason for it. Similarly, they would want um, uh, to have some kind of an influence or a handle uh, on how Afghanistan is being run by the new government because this was a very important post for them to keep China in check, to keep a very strong eye on Iran and, of course, on Pakistan and, and Russia. Uh, but uh, our interest, uh, of course, uh, is that our friend China also... Uh, sort of remains secure from the, the threat of terrorism which may or may not emanate from, uh, from Afghanistan. And uh, because I feel that it is extremely important for Central Asian states, for China, for Pakistan, and to some extent maybe even for Iran, um, uh, because Afghanistan is so strategically located like Pakistan, connecting the various sub-regions of, uh, of Asia, that uh, we would actually like to have true peace. And we would not like uh, any country, particularly, you know, the, the, the countries that do not have any stake in Afghanistan or do not have a border with Afghanistan, to uh, make it an other venue for proxy wars or for... Um, hurting the interests of the neighboring states. Sir, secondly, as it is not in vain that Pakistan has always played a vital role in peace maintenance in the region, then what is the reason that Pakistan is always targeted for such reasons? Uh, actually, uh, the problem is that uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan have got such an affinity. Although uh, our relations may not look good at times and uh, People may have certain, uh, you know, complaints against each other, but uh, we are, uh, you know, connected together. One is a more than 2,600 kilometers of border. Uh, our ethnicities are same at times. Uh, we, we, we speak the same language across uh, international border. And uh, then for a very long time, we have been uh, uh, creating uh, ease of movement for each other. Uh, as easement rights, people from Afghanistan have been coming and going, and similarly, people from Pakistan have been uh, coming and going. Uh, so, this deep uh, interactive interest of Pakistan is not liked by many. Those who come from far off distances, they want that uh, Afghans should listen to them and uh, not Pakistan. Whereas, uh, history cannot be erased, history cannot be obliterated. So, uh, uh, I think our affinity, our natural infinity at times is not taken in good stead by some other powers. Secondly, ma'am, why there is a need for America to review its relations with Pakistan as we have always seen a positive role by Pakistan, then why uh, Pakistan is always targeted in such conditions? Look for that. You have to look at the history of Pakistan-U.S. relations right from the beginning. And uh, uh, I'm sure I don't uh, have, uh, this is not the occasion or we don't have time enough to go and re-narrate the entire history of our relationship 
but our relationship has always been transactional and transactional also in favor of the USA we being the smaller partner in the relationship um the americans have never actually given us uh, uh, that that uh, sort of uh, i won't say the status but that kind of importance that you would give to um a, a country that you consider your equal of like china does our relations for example with china are absolutely on equal basis and with other countries but with america the the usa has never actually had that kind of stable long term strategic partnership or uh, friendship or relationship with with pakistan they come running to us whenever they need us and once our need or our utility is no longer there they don't even take a single minute to malign us and i think uh, um, pakistan has seen this happen once too many times and the uh, pakistani leadership and particularly the pakistani people have now seen through uh, through the usa of where they would like to see pakistan and we really do not want to be used like this by the uh, by usa so uh, you would recall that when uh, the soviet dropped into afghanistan the entire west was the uh, the friendliest block with the uh, with pakistan you know they were we they even made us the non nato allies uh, because they needed us because they needed to fight the last battle of uh, cold war uh, in afghanistan and they could not have done it without um the bridge of pakistan so they became very good and very nice then pakistan and bangladesh were one country and it was east pakistan and they needed us the they made us uh as their partners in uh, centro and theto and uh, then we saw that in in the two wars that we had with india it was the americans who stopped uh are uh, the sale of spare parts to pakistan in the 1965 war for example in the 1971 war uh they kept saying the seventh fleet will come it never came so you know they use us and then they leave us so their relationship uh, and they have always said that we need to have a stable long term relation uh with the us uh but they always uh, sort of uh, as i said use us and leave us can so you... uh, this is nothing surprising this is really nothing surprising that they now want to again review um our, their relationship with us because it is they have sort of failed in every effort that they have made in the region or elsewhere concluding this sir what do you think where pakistan and us relations will lead after the us state secretary statement and what implications it will cause on pakistan and afghanistan relations uh i think uh, america is trying to find a scapegoat uh, for their own failures and uh, they 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 need to satisfy their uh, you know internal uh, 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 political uh, setups uh, and also their people so i i i i sense that there will be some uh, uh, strong actions taken against pakistan in the in the shape of uh, some sanctions in the shape of uh, you know keeping us in the gray list of fatf uh, maybe some harsh conditionalities from imf uh, so these things will come up uh, as i can see the things unfolding uh, but our stand up with uh, uh, america uh will not be good for us will not be good for the region that but we, we cannot uh, uh, you know make the decision uh, one sided decision uh, we cannot do anything uh, which the americans want uh, at the cost of our own interest uh, at the cost of our friendship with china uh, at the cost of our communication with the one taliban so if they try to push us to uh, dictate anything to taliban we are not in a position to do that because taliban they do not take dictation uh so i think with the 
Afghan government will have better relations, even if uh, we have some, uh, uh, you know, annoyance as far as America is concerned. But of course, we will face some economic hardships, and that can also impact on Afghanistan because if Pakistan is in trouble, you know, you know it, it will have some effect on Afghanistan. But I think, with the help of the regional countries, uh, China, Russia, Iran, Central Asian countries, maybe Turkey, uh, Pakistan. Probably we will be able to bring peace in Afghanistan, and we will be able to overcome the difficulties uh, which the Americans will like to like us to go through. Concluding, me, ma'am, do you think will it create will that statement uh, of Anthony Blinken will create any implications on Pakistan and Afghanistan relations? Uh, look, Pakistan and Afghanistan are very clear about their relationship. And uh, I think it's about time uh, for the rest of the world also to look at Afghanistan and uh, look at Pakistan through Afghanistan prism. Um, we hope that there will soon be a government in uh, Afghanistan that we can uh, establish our uh, relationship with and strengthen our relationship with. And uh, I think it is time that we should concentrate on building our relationship with Afghanistan, uh, you know, as our neighbor, because I, I strongly feel our destinies are linked. And the external factors should not play that much of a, a role in our uh, decision on what kind of a relationship we want to have with, uh, with Afghanistan. It is our neighbor. We should have friendly relations with it. We should help it uh, now with uh, all the humanitarian assistance that we can. And uh, we should also try and join hands with our uh, uh, like-minded countries like China and Russia and uh, Iran maybe and also um, Turkey to uh, help them rebuild their economy, rebuild their country, rebuild their infrastructure. And I think we should get together and have some kind of a framework um, on how um, we can um, support Afghanistan in uh, becoming a stable, economically strong country and uh, so that we can take, um, you know, the BRI or the CPAC also to Afghanistan so that it's not only Pakistan developed, but this region can uh, develop, which has been, as I earlier said, which has been a hostage to the disturbance in Afghanistan for the last 40 years. Thank you so much, uh, both of you, for sharing your precious time. It was all from today's program. Keep watching Global Times Pakistan. Allah Hafiz.